with other products we've used, uh, you have to get both ends of the line pinged and then you can start the timer. With this product, you just put start the timer in because you know sometimes you get caught behind, you haven't quite got the pin in time or if they're moving the pin. And it's like the simplicity of this thing is just, uh, just perfect. When the race committee puts the buoys in at the last second, everybody fights to get in there to get a good spot and yep. it gets a little hands on and then if you don't get it right, it creates stress on board. So now this is quick and easy. As long as you get good pings and you're very consistent on your angle back to the line on both sides, uh, it's doing a really nice job of being accurate, you know, uh, in the middle of the line and knowing where we are. The one thing that I really like is being able to reset when they, when they move the pin, the committee boat stays, you can go and ping the pin and not have to ping both ends of the line. Um, so that, that's definitely a, a great feature because that's usually what happens. I think it's the products, you know, obviously for the starting, really helpful. And then, um, you know, on these boats, you know, if you've got your, your speed through the water on like the tactic display and then you've got your GPS speed over ground, you know, you can work out if you're gaining or losing based on the current. And I think, you know, that's something pretty cool to have. Easy, no easiness. more three, two, one. Yeah. Especially because in these, in these boats, if you don't get it perfectly three, two, one, we'd have to circle around again. And then this one, you just you might be slightly off, but at least if you don't have time, you're not screwed. Just how simple it is. The, I, and the, the fact like it's got actual buttons you can uh, use and uh, you know, it, it, it reacts, it's, um, it's very accurate. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the easiest thing to use out there right now. It, what it does is it helps on your pre-staging, so you're making sure that you're not two or three boat lengths too close to the line or too far away from the line. It just gives you a nice consistent you know, arc, so it helps the, figure out with the owners to uh, get them into a, uh, a pattern and routine to be able to re repeat that. I keep it in a foul weather gear pocket here okay. down in my chest, and so then I'll have it out for the start, holding it, and then when we're going upwind, I'll pull it out to look for current. I think it's a pretty good cheap version of you know what people are trying to do with all the computers and stuff like that on the bigger boats and you'll probably see it moving into bigger boats as maybe just a backup and then they might just ditch all the other stuff anyway. And this one it's just like okay the the pin's gone back like you know a couple of boat lengths you can just get it in between your pre-start like you know even at the four minute gun just go past it sweep by it get it keep going and you can rely on it. When I use one of these on my moth, I'll have the speed and then the heading and the bar graph. Being able to know where we are uh, on the line, in addition with the, the guy on the bow is huge. It's, it's the easiest thing to use out there right now. And uh, that is such a big help. But I wish I would have had it for the last five years. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's perfect, especially for San Fran, you know, where, um, where that, the tide is such a influence. And I love how it just switches straight over that. Uh, when we found that out, it was like, oh, this, this thing just keeps giving us benefits, you know?